obviously where we're going to go in this earmark debate is is still um, undetermined, I think. I, I would have wished that the conference had taken a position uh, that we are, no Republican is going to request any earmarks uh, this year at all. That's the position I'd like to see us take. I'm not sure what we will do at RSC now. We're having a meeting on that tonight, actually. Uh, but I think the more Republicans that take that position, the stronger the issue will be. I also think it's interesting to note that, and although I was a Mitt Romney supporter, John McCain is clearly going to be the nominee for the Republican Party. And I would expect that that is the position that John McCain and the McCain campaign is going to take, uh, which is likely, I would think, that they're going to take the position that there should be no earmarks whatsoever until reform or unless reform or, or whatever it might be. And so I certainly hope that we at the RSC or at conference are not going to be left of our Republican nominee on this particular uh, subject, and I hope that we can, uh, that we can take some position on that. Um, and even if people don't want to give them up completely, if you look at the uh, Citizens Against Government Waste uh, Pledge that they came up with, which I don't know how many of us have signed that now, it's 20-something uh, that have signed that. But I think that, if you look at it, is actually a good blueprint for where reform might go. It doesn't say no earmarks, never, no way, whatever, although I and others have taken a pledge to that effect in addition to the uh, uh, Citizens Against Government Waste Pledge. Uh, if you look at what it says, uh, it, it actually says that, all right, you can't give an earmark to a private organization without it being competitively bid. Well, that's where an awful lot of the, of the corruption, frankly, and the abuse in the earmark area is going on when you give it to private organizations without any kind of bidding. So I think there are places people can go short of no earmarks, but what we say and what we're quoting is, is no earmarks until they're reformed. And I think, in my view, looking at the Citizens Against Government Waste Pledge, that's a blueprint for what reform uh, could eventually uh, uh, look like. 